Hi everyone. I hope everybody's having a good day. Sorry, sorry, no video yesterday or Monday. Um, yeah, things are going a little uh, hectic, and one of the major things I'm I'm uh, I'm not happy about is the t is the teletax. Reason why I'm not too happy about the teletax. It's going up in April by one pound fifty. Yeah, it may not sound a lot, but at the end of the day, it does add up. And yeah, not good. The major problem with the BBC is there's so much wokeism in there. You know, um. What they could really do with do with doing is basic it's basically top heavy, too many managers and stuff like that. And Tim Davy doesn't have a doesn't really have a clue of what he's doing. Um Yeah. They were talking about uh a hundred was it four hundred and fifty pounds subscription? If if um, if TV license, you know, if the TV license was getting rid of, um, no one would pay four hundred and fifty pound a year, especially for the BBC. Um, this was actually brought up on another YouTube channel. The, vo the Voice of Reason. And he was saying that what they really need to do is get get rid of all these so-called... Um, um, by cutting half the staff... There's just like there's all this stuff about diversity and stuff like that. There was a comic on uh, on BBC Northwest, a comedy show, and I can't remember her name, but she made a comment that it was okay to kill Whitey. And to be truthful, it wasn't funny. It wasn't funny at all. Matter of fact, that's an incitement. And uh, Greater Manchester Police, I heard that Greater Manchester Police were investigating it. Um, but I don't know if anything was done about it or if this investigation is still ongoing. Um, as I know of, that's that's uh, a form of incitement of racial hatred, and uh, which is an offence. Yeah, real bad news. So the basic another thing that I saw in the in the uh, paper, as like I mentioned, they're going to raise the. Um, TV license by one pound fifty a year, and um, yeah, as I said, the BBC is not even worth fifty pence. Tin Davy needs to really make some redundancies and not have them back, because the BBC turns round and they they um, they. But hotel rooms and never used them. They they order taxis and never use them. And one and even one one case they book flights to fly some guests over. At a first class, three thousand pound 
£3,000 first class tickets. You know? And it gets ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. That's what your license fee is paying for. And the serious... Uh, seriously now the way that they conducted them have conducted themselves of the how can I put it criminal criminal um, activities co- not just not just on BBC premises but like say Stoke Mandeville and other and other places, you know who I'm talking about. You talk. I'm talking about Jimmy Savile. Discover, Discovery Plus did a did a documentary on him, uh, showing the warning signs of when he was talking about about it. And he goes, and he goes, oh, he mentioned the S word. My God, he, you know, and uh, yeah. There's been so many cover-ups by the BBC. You know, we shouldn't let them get away with stuff like this. You know, it's just not good at all. This is the reason why there's an organisation called Defund the BBC. You know, and they also basically turned round and... You've got to have a thing called pension credit because the, the, what, what happened was the BBC used to pay for over 75 TV licences, but they stopped doing it. Only people who uh, can get that are people on pension credit. And quite a lot of, pen, quite a lot of pensioners, you know, just go slightly over... And they can't claim it. And it's an absolute travesty, it is. Um, so, you know, folks, if, you're, if you really, 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 really want to make a difference, don't buy a TV licence. But be very careful on what you watch. Uh, no iPlayer. No live TV. All right? Of any kind. Catch up. Catch up services are pretty fine. Netflix are fine. Amazon's fine. Disney Plus is fine. So, you know, I've got uh, I've got um, YouTube playing at the moment. I tell you something else. YouTube has more viewers than what uh, the BBC will ever have. You know, and one of the other things I've got to mention. They are also thinking about axing Doctor Who. So this is how bad it's getting. And the um, ratings for Doctor Who have basically tanked. Completely, totally tanked. We're just going to see how EastEnders does very soon. And I think think that will be one of... The next se- series to go, you know, because it's costing it cost it's costing them millions of pounds uh, to do that to do that soap, you know, and Coronation Street. Well, Coronation Street costs less to less to uh, less to do, and uh, yeah. I think it was 21... I think EastEnders set cost over 21 million. There you go. BBC wasting money once again. Well, I'm going to bugger off now. Hopefully there'll be another video tomorrow. And uh, I just hope everybody's okay. So it's bye for now. Three, two, one, click.